Hey everybody, Blake here again at the Florida Keys History and Discovery Center. We're going to be doing another species spotlight here at our Moat Marine Laboratory exhibit. So I'm going to be talking today about a few of our invertebrates. We're going to be talking about our pencil urchin and then our rock anemones. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to feed them and then I'll tell you a few facts about them. Alrighty. So we are going to be feeding our rock anemones today. They are getting fed krill. So what we're going to do is we're going to target feed them. We're going to take that krill and we're going to put it right there in the mouth of the rock anemone. We have two of them here in our Gorgonian exhibit. We'll take this one here, put it over there. And what he'll do is he'll, they'll close up. And they'll use those sticky tentacles to help trap the food and bring it to its mouth. And while we're doing that, we're going to just go ahead and broadcast feed our fish. Might have to give this other rock anemone another another piece of krill. His our shrimp stole it from him. So we'll go ahead and just stick it right in there. Now these rock anemones are native down here to the Florida Keys. And you'll find them tucked in the rocks of the reef. You'll also find them in sandy areas along shallows and seagrass beds. Just hand in some krill to our coral banded shrimps down there. Now the way these rock anemones feed out in the wild is by their sticky tentacles. They will trap anything that floats by them and take it to their mouth there at the center where they can digest and it is a multifunctional mouth so they will actually eat and poop same place but we're also going to be talking about our urchins here we're going to be talking about our pencil urchins that we have in the tanks so we have about seven pencil urchins in here and they are what are part of what we call our cleanup crew. Here's a few of them over here as well. What they do is they will go along the rock work and the sand bed and they eat detritus and algae. So any fish waste, any uneaten fish food and then any algae growing on the rock work and we get these pencil urchins here in the western Atlantic you get them you'll see them all the way up in South Carolina all the way down here to the Florida Keys and then Mexico and Belize and they're in shallow water generally. So like I said, the, they inhabit the reefs just like our rock anemones. 
And out in the wild, they eat the same things. They're eating algae, any fish poop, anything that they can find. They do have predators out in the wild. They are eaten by animals such as triggerfish that have a fused beak that they're able to flip those urchins over. What they'll do is they'll crack open and they'll eat their fleshy insides, their reproductive organs. And that is the same with people who like to eat sushi. There are uh, people that enjoy eating urchin. So they eat the reproductive organs. And it is a delicacy over in Japan. So our rock and enemy there, they aren't exactly mobile, but they are not really sessile. So they can move around, but they don't really move around at their, and know where they're going. Um, they can, what they can do is they can detach their, their foot from the rock. And they can float off and go somewhere, say, if they're being attacked by a predator or they're just in a bad location. What they'll do is they'll, they'll detach from the rock and they'll float off and, until they get to a new spot and reattach their foot. So ours have grown quite a lot. Um, what I will do is I will feed them a krill once every other day and that helps them to grow but they can also get their energy photosynthetically photosynthetically I believe that is all we have for today, today's Species Spotlight. Um, we're going to talk more about some of our other animals, uh, maybe dive into some of the more invertebrates that we have in this tank, uh, mix it up a little bit, maybe talk about some of the corals. Um, but we have lots of other animals that we can cover here at the Florida Keys History and Discovery Center. So I thank you for tuning in today. I hope to catch you next week. Thanks.